New at 10, five guys create a massive ice sculpture. Shannon Sims tells us the unusual inspiration behind a magnificent display in Lake Mills. No, Mike and Carol, I'm not in England, but I'm actually here in Lake Mills, where this ice hinge is the talk of the town. Out on Rock Lake at the corner of Lakeshore Drive and College stands a masterpiece to behold. Kevin Leaner, along with four other guys, created this ice hinge each piece caught and pulled from the belly of this frozen lake. With four guys, you can get 200 pounds up. You know, you can get it up. It's, it's a little bit of a struggle. It's probably not OSHA approved. Using chainsaws, ice cutters, and tongs, they built this homage to Stonehenge in two days. When you're hinging, like a real good hinging, You work up a sweat. Right. You have some guys pulling them out, some guys setting them up, some guys cementing them, some guys cutting them. Like this guy's got a calibrated eye. You know, so to cut it just perfectly. It's all handcrafted. These images taken by photographer Eli Whittle capture not only the craftsmanship, but its beauty against Mother Nature's backdrop. The men have built ice sculptures in the past, but this year's motivation, a little special. It might have been the anxiety over that Packer loss at the hands of Seattle, and we had to release some anxiety somehow. Whatever the reason, if you want to see winter at its best, take a drive west and head to Lake Mills. Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. That's a spectacular. Lake Mills celebrates its annual Knickerbocker Ice Festival this weekend. There will be several ice sculptures on display, so you had to know that the Packers were an inspiration behind <laughs> it in some way. Ice hands, you gotta <laughs> it's love it. Gorgeous.